Hello, this is Jerry Norman at Novamar Insurance. I'm here at the 2023 Fort Lauderdale Boat Show with uh, Mr. Augie Diaz, and Augie owns Diaz Marine down here in Miami. He represents MJM Yachts, and uh, he's gonna take us through a little bit of a walkthrough on the MJM 35 here, and uh, thank you, Jerry. we'd love to do it. We'll go on the MJM 35, which is our small express cruiser, very successful design and, and boat. It's great in the ocean. So if you're looking to do some express cruising, going to the Bahamas and having, you know, uh, a good time on the boat and staying on the boat, this would be a perfect starter for you. Fantastic. So we'll go, go right on the boat here. Let's take a look at her. And is this a new model? Is yeah, this a no, no, this is our, one of our legacy models, but it remains a, a pretty much bestseller. As you can see, we have a one floor entertainment area with really a lot of seating for uh, your guests. And as the captain, you're not uh, you're not away from your group, so you're right in the in the group. We like to say that this is almost like a the the um, fly bridge on a on a 70 80 footer. It's really so got a lot of indoor outdoor living space, doesn't this it? This is the key to our boats. You want to be outside? We can take open the whole boat up like this, take these two panels down, and you're outside. If you want to be inside, we can enclose the boat from here forward, and this area here is air conditioned. Oh, but, perfect for all kinds of climates. But, the, but the, the front opening windows and the ability to open the boat is very desirable, particularly when you're in the Bahamas. Even in the warmest of times, you're still able to enjoy cool breeze going through the boat of course, with plenty of co cover from the sun, as that continues to be a priority. Fantastic. So we have incredible uh, storage on this boat. Both cities here, you can put full length bikes in either one of these. These two are storage areas. This one back here, more and more storage. Wonderful. Yeah. And then of course, if you step into the helm area, and look around, you'll see a, a really good line, sight lines allowing you to really maneuver your boat anywhere you want. And then looking forward here at our cabin, this is a really nice space for a couple. This table comes out, of course, and you can and you have a, a, a you know a insert that goes in here for a really nice uh, V berth up front, small galley, great for cooking, and of course a head for a pocket cruiser. This is it. You can do a lot of great cruising and uh, very seaworthy. Our boats are lighter and stronger with a very low vertical center of gravity. Uh, additionally, we put on the stabilizers which make our boats the perfect perfect platform to get across the Gulf Stream and uh, enjoy the Bahamas. Someone wants to order the boat today here at the show. How long is the lead time for them to get So the that boat? depends uh, a little bit. Our, our lead times are a little bit long right now, but it's just, it's all about the timing. I have a boat coming in three months, but it just depends on, on the situation. But six months to a year is, uh, is where we are right now. And what's the price range for this? This boat is well well configured and well equipped. It's just under a million dollars and you can plan on the boats keeping their value. And this is something that that story is told over and over again across all of our uh, models where basically if you go back to the original model, the MJM 34Z uh, back in 2002, that boat still commands a higher price than the original owner paid for. It. Wow. So it's un unbelievable. That's fantastic. Wow. Yeah. And Augie, where if someone wants to reach you, what's the best way for them to reach you and DS Marine uh, in Miami? I'm uh, I'm online as uh, it's DS Marine.com and of course I can give you my phone number that's 305-799-2744. Perfect. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Beautiful boat. Yeah. Great to see you at the show. Back in the day. No. And, and, and really
really, when you're thinking about going on the water, you want to be outside. You want the wind. Yeah. Exactly. Now, if it's rough, if it's yeah. hot, you close it up. You close it up, air conditioning, and, air conditioning. and you can't you can't miss. But having the front windows open like that is just fantastic. But I, I go, generally, I go cruising with my girlfriend and my grandchildren. Yeah. And what I what we do is we open up the front hatch, yeah. open it up oh, facing yeah. forward, okay. and you leave this open. Oh, and in the dead of summer, down at Elliott Key, yeah. where you get that little sea breeze, the, the end of the trades, yeah. the boat gets cools off so nicely that you end up, by midnight, you're reaching for the for covers. Really? Yeah, it's really, really interesting. That's fantastic. Yeah. And that's probably where the sailboat lineage comes in because you do want, you, I mean, you want the air coming through. You totally. don't want just a close off. Because you, you close off, you stay at home, right? Yeah, you want exactly. To be outside. You want to be outside. And I, I mean, do you see a lot of sailors that transition into a boat? Absolutely. Like this? The following is awesome from the sailors. A lot of the J boat owners uh, have migrated to, uh, once they're done sailing, they migrated to cruising on, on our boats, and everybody loves it. Yeah.